the mouth. There's something else we're not seeing. If she's compromised, she will be eliminated. What have you done? You belong to them. They will never let you go. I'll find a way. So Jennifer Lawrence has moved on from the Hunger Games and the X-Men franchise all the way over to Red Sparrow. And how does she do? Well, let's find out. My name is Brennan Kedavery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Red Sparrow. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into the review, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also, click the little bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have Red Sparrow. It is directed by uh, Francis Lawrence. Um, if you're not familiar with him, he is the gentleman that did uh, Hunger Games catching fire and mocking j part one and two he also did water for elephants which came out years before that and also i am legend with will smith that came out a number of years ago and he's worked with jennifer lawrence a number of times of course she was in the hunger games franchise um, she was also in passengers with chris pratt and also she played mystique in the x-men films but now she is moving on to Red Sparrow. And what Red Sparrow is about is Jennifer Lawrence's character is recruited into this special spy assassin um, type establishment to where they train you to use your mind, sex and your body to manipulate your enemy in whatever situation so that their organization can gain global control all around the world. And this is something that I really was looking forward to. I, this is rated R. I knew that going into this, it would be rated R. And given the source material, I would just kind of say to myself, okay, how far are they going to push the envelope? How far are they going to go with these things? Is it going to show a lot of blood, a lot of gore, a lot of sex? And they really did mix up all three of those elements into giving you somewhat of a decent film. The performance by Jennifer Lawrence is pretty good. I liked it for the most part. Other than her Russian accent going in and out, sometimes she sounded Russian, which sound and it sounded great. Other times she did sound American. Um, I also liked the role by Joel Edgerton. Um, he did a great job. And the best thing that I really did like about this movie is while it still kept secrets, it told you all the secrets at the same time. So going in or early on in the film, you there's like a layer of secrets, and you're like, okay, as long as this person doesn't figure out secret A and around and this person doesn't figure out secret B, everything is going to be okay. It's going to be a straightforward movie, and you're going to be able to follow things, you know, pretty easy going along. But no, that's not the case. All of these secrets are kind of revealed early on in the film as far as who's working for who and who got training where and what so and so's objective is. So you're like, wow, with all of this information just out in the open, you know, who do you really trust? Um, you know, who can you really count on? And you just don't know. And that was the best thing about the movie to me. I mean, seriously, I did not know what side Joel Edgerton was on or Jennifer Lawrence was in this entire movie up until the very end. And there are so many different secrets and twists and turns and things like that that the director, Francis Lawrence, actually made a note to the early press and early screening people just saying, you know, hey, I would really appreciate it if you release this review closer to release. Or if you're going to release it early, please do not revo reveal, excuse me, any of the secrets or anything like that. And I wouldn't do that, but, you know, that just goes to show just how many different twists and turns this movie has. I really don't, don't want to talk about any, I don't really want to talk about it that much more than that because I don't want to spoil it for you. But there was actually so many twists and turns that it actually, for me, became a little bit difficult to understand what was going on. I was just asking myself, okay, am I lost now or? Or, you know, do I have this, uh, you know, understood pretty straightforward? And that was a little dilemma, you know, toward, for me, at least towards the end of the film. I did really enjoy it. Uh, it wasn't the best thing in the world, but I did get a kick out of it. But this is something that I would want to see, you know, a, a second time. And besides all the twists and turns, one of the things I liked about it, something else that really uh, fascinated me was the how Jennifer Lawrence would actually use her uh, sexiness or her body to manipulate her enemy 
money or get whatever she wants. Um, like I said, there is, that this movie does have a good amount of uh, gore. Well, not a, a decent amount of gore and blood and nudity in this film, but it isn't anything that's just over the top, in my opinion. It will make a few people uncomfortable, but I am impressed by the way that she used her body. I'm, I'm impressed, um, you know, how she used her sexiness to get what she needed uh, in unconventional ways, in ways that you would not think that she will before. She showed a lot of power. And I respected her character because she used her mind more than her actual body. Uh, but without spoiling anything, that's all I do want to talk about uh, the film. I really do suggest that you go see it for yourself and make sure you pay attention. Make sure you go to the bathroom before your screening starts and don't blink because you just may miss something. If I had to rate Red Sparrow out of a one out of ten, I will give it an eight out of ten. Yes, an eight out of ten. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Red Sparrow or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it, and also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my pen slash review for Red Sparrow starring Jennifer Lawrence directed by Francis Lawrence. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion. Peace.